Hello, uh, I'm Javad Hussain. I'm the Exec Medical Director at East Lines Hospital NHS Trust. On the 5th of July, a NHS birthday celebrated, and this year NHS was at 74 years old, uh, or should I say 74 years young, because it continues to provide an excellent service to all our communities. And NHS it's just not the hospitals as we all know. It is all the services that are present in the primary care, the secondary care and beyond that helps our communities in healthy living. We are the Anchor Institute in our communities and we very much are still recruiting and would like to invest in our communities in health providing a reliable high standard service. Moving on, um, I do always mention about COVID. Um, unfortunately, the number of patients in hospital has increased. Now, all of these are not necessarily as a result of COVID, and COVID is an incidental finding, but it still means uh, that due to COVID, a number of precautions has been uh, and needs to be taken. So the plea is again for all of you to continue abiding with the IPC principles. We have taken down the uh, the mandatory wearing of masks in hospital, but it's a very fluid and a moving situation. And if the numbers in the communities continue to increase, we may have to bring those restrictions back. It's also important that you do take vaccination offer, which is still available. The booster dose for high risk patient and people who are 75 and above and healthcare worker will be coming soon. Uh, any pressures, um, unfortunately, still remains. Uh, and our message is the same that please explore all the options which are available out there with GPs, with 111, with your local pharmacies before you make your way to accident and emergency and urgent care. Uh, so do think hard before you start traveling towards the hospital that do you really need to be here as there are a number of good options which are out there in the community to attend to your needs. However, if for right clinical reasons you need to be here, then we are for you. Star Awards. Now, I did mention that last time um, the nominations have closed. These awards are in recognition for individuals and teams who have contributed to the safe, personal and effective care. The teams and individuals have been finalized for each category and you can find the details on our website. Uh, there were 300 nominations and I can tell you as being one of the judges, it was a very difficult job for us to really decide between the uh, individuals and team. So it wasn't an easy job, but the ceremony is going to take place, although it's held virtually on YouTube and you can watch it. It's on the 14th of July and starts at 7 p.m. So I'll encourage you to see and contribute to the appreciations to all the individuals and teams who have uh, helped uh, us deliver an excellent care. Just a couple of points before I finish. We have our podcast on clinical strategy. You can again look at our website. We are in the very final phases of bringing out the clinical strategy for East Lines Hospital NHS Trust. So do have a listen uh, if, if you get the time. These are good lessons in how we are moving with hospitals without walls and how we need to engage with all the healthcare providers uh, in the community. And finally, finally, this is a holy month for Muslims as they are celebrating Hajj. Eid is next weekend, which is the 9th and 10th. So for all the colleagues and communities who are celebrating Eid, a very happy Eid. I'll be back in a couple of weeks time with further updates. So look after yourselves and your loved ones. 
Bye for now.